I think it's impressive that you were like one of the co-founders of, was it the Hype House? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's, it, you know, for somebody, you know, when you're 18 or something, like, it seems entrepreneurial. Is, is, it I was. Guess, yeah. It was honestly something that we did just on a limb. We were like, let's do something fun. It doesn't seem like anything exciting is going on on TikTok, and that was the space that I really started in, and I had a lot of friends in the space. And so it felt like something that could really like get a conversation started and also just show like what it means to have uh, friends on social media and all of like the different friendships and relationships that kind of came out of it. It was just like, it was hectic. It was just a spiral of information because there were so many people and there were so many houses and like things going on. So it kept me busy, but after a while, I realized that I was more of a like introvert, and so it, <laughs> it took me like a year of being there to be like, okay, I, I need to separate myself. I need to go off and do my own thing. And when I went and did my own thing, uh, it became the center focus of what the hype house was on this Netflix reality show. <laughs> it was just kind of like weird that they they, they were targeting me for. Uh, switching my career paths mm. and trying to become a musician, which is something that you'd think like your friends would be, your friends would be proud of you for, right? Right. Like, sure. you, like, yeah, like you're doing your thing, you're going chasing your dream, you know, like, t no, no pun intended because my name's Chase, but <laughs> <laughs> you'd think it'd be something that they would support you for. And um, like, they made it ar around like how it was this bad thing, this bad move. My friends moved from West Hollywood where we were uh originally and i was like cool like i like living mm -hmm. in in west hollywood but if you guys are they moved to i think it's called moore park I, I don't even know the name of the city but i think it's called moore park and that's like an hour away away from la and i was already like six months into uh, like putting all of my time into music and so i i told them i don't think it's smart for me to live there because an hour drive hour and yeah. a half drive every day just to go to the studio every day was already a challenge within itself so I honestly, I met them halfway. I moved to Encino and I was like, okay, I'm 30 minutes from you guys, but I'm also mm -hmm. 30 minutes from my studio. And then they never asked me to hang out. And like the only times we really ever saw each other was making this Netflix reality show. And so like, it just like slowly diluted all of our friendships and like made it this really like sour thing when it was something that I was so excited to be a part of. Yeah, I guess it happens, you know, sometimes you grow out of friendships. I know, like, the, <laughs> so many people grew out of it and went into doing their own things, and, like, I'm really proud of, like, what it became because there was so many people that found what they really loved doing through um, the opportunity that was what Hype House was at first, and just kind of, like, seeing it, like, fall apart, you know, you had to, like, take a step back and, and figure out what you want for yourself as well. That's awesome. Um, you were You were on... TikTok before it was called TikTok, right? <laughs> Fucking musically, dude. <laughs> I was That's... there. I was there when I was fourteen, dude. I like I have way too much shit online. That's honestly why like I'm so scared to be like so public anymore is because I used to post every day of my life. Like I would post like four videos a day and so now my wow. internet track record's just like so many things that I think are just so cringe, so horrible, like just stuff that I can't even watch. Like I watch a second of it and I like, I want to scream and, and like turn my TV off. You know, they have like full blown compilations of like old videos <laughs> that I made and I, I can't watch it. People there's like, there's accounts on TikTok dedicated to just reposting old videos that I've done. And like some of them get like really crazy amounts of views and I get so embarrassed. I'm like, dude, guys can we forget this can like do people when you're forget? out traveling the world do people recognize you from absolutely yeah. yeah so uh, i've been so many different places in the world and yeah mo most people uh have known me from tiktok music um however they know me you know <laughs>